And our very first presenter is Sarah Hoagland. Sarah is from the School of Forestry. Her major professor is Dr. Paul Beyer. The title of Sarah's presentation is Owls, Treatments, and Tribes. Sarah. I recently traveled with a research group to 20 different forests across the nation that were managed by Native American tribes. Many of these tribes sustainably manage their forests using low intensity prescribed burns and actively cut trees for a variety of purposes. What's interesting is that our research group found that Indian forest management practices are a great model for environmental sustainability. Unfortunately though today, many of our forests in the West are not healthy. We've suppressed wildfires and now they're overgrown with trees which increases the wildfire risk in many of our southwestern ponderosa pine and mixed conifer forests. The Mexican spotted owl, shown here, nests in those same exact forests and are currently listed as a threatened species due to the wildfire risk that they face. The only way to help save the Mexican spotted owl and reduce the wildfire risk is to remove some of these trees that are fueling these fires. But in the past 25 or so years, We've been so afraid to do this, partly because it could negatively impact the owl. It's a classic catch-22 dilemma. Owls need trees for their nest sites, but too many trees can cause disastrous wildfires. So how do we achieve that balance? Well, that's what brings us back to the tribes. My research looks at the effects of forest treatments on Mexican spotted owls. One of my study sites is shown here on the left. This is on the reservation, and it's thinned it has a much lower fire risk. Due to the tribe's sovereignty, they can be much more proactive and experimental in their management. The tribe has been collecting forest and owl data for decades and has shared it with me. My other study site is shown here on the right. And no, this image is not photoshopped. This site on the right, for the most part, is unthinned and has a much higher fire risk. This is a dangerous situation, not only for the owl, but for forest communities such as Flagstaff. So, which sites do you think the owls prefer? Well, it turns out thinning doesn't scare them off, and in fact, it could be beneficial. We believe that the thinning allows the understory grasses to grow, which is a food source for the rodents that owls eat. By analyzing satellite images, we're able to identify what forest types owls prefer in a nest site. Using the data we've collected, we'll be able to identify, protect, and actively manage areas throughout the Southwest that may provide suitable owl habitat. Future work will compare occupancy and reproduction rates between thinned and unthinned sites to see exactly how owls respond. Our work will identify to what extent we can reduce wildfire risk without negatively impacting the owl. As tribal elders have told me many times in the past, it's our responsibility to take care of the forest and all the creatures within. This work will allow us to do just that. Thank you very much.